In this video, I'm going to show you how to display a preview of your document to the end user while the workflow is in progress before the final document is generated. As you can see here, I have some questions on page one of my workflow, but on page two, I want to display a partially completed version of my offer letter document, since this is a workflow for an offer letter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my output documents tab and I'm going to actually upload the partial version of that document which I will call Offer Letter Preview. And I've just uploaded that here. And I'll make sure I have that name exactly copied in correctly. So I'll copy and paste that and go back to my questions. Now what I want to do is I want to display this on page two. So I'll add a page two here. I'll give it a little title like here is a preview of your document. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, an instruction question. Just like what I do when I'm displaying variables in the document, I'm going to use the dollar sign and double bracket syntax, just like I do when I'm referring to a, a variable that existed on a previous page of a workflow. And what I'll do here is I'll actually insert the name of that document. Now it's important that this preview document only has variables in it that have already been answered in the past because otherwise the document won't have the values for the variables that are inside of that document. And now that's basically all we need to do. I'll go ahead and run this workflow, fill out the information about our employee here. And as you can see on page two, I have a preview of this document. And this is the text that I had entered in this preview, which is a partial offer letter so that the user can download by clicking it and then can continue to the next page.